Thanks to the O'Bannon trial ruling, college athletes could now start getting paid. But before I tell you how, I'm going to tell you what they're going to spend their money on. Beer. Lots of beer. And maybe pants. Here's what you need to know about the ruling in the O'Bannon trial, which went against the NCAA, which obviously has already begun the appeals process. But the ruling could have gone a lot worse for the NCAA, which has taken a number of hits recently. So let's go over the biggest changes for big time college athletics. The three biggest changes coming to big time college sports thanks to the ruling in this trial. Number one, colleges can now pay each athlete each year up to $5,000, which comes out of a trust, gives the advantage to bigger schools that can pay everybody up to $5,000, and goes against smaller schools who are looking to pay specific people and outbid bigger schools. Yep, the bigger schools win. I know what you're thinking, shocking. Number two, the NCAA can't stop specific schools from paying full cost of attendance scholarships, which beyond the ticky-tack, no more bagels kind of restrictions, also means that schools can pay for the complete cost, which includes transportation, personal care, and other miscellaneous items that hadn't been covered previously. Which of course sounds like something that should have been happening years ago. And number three, and this is the big win for the NCAA, athletes still can't individually market themselves. They still can't go after sponsorships and money outside of athletics. But Athletes can now get paid for their likenesses appearing in video games, game broadcast, game rebroadcast, and of course we don't know how much or even how athletes will get paid from these video games and broadcasts because the ruling was released last week. So yes, it is a big win for big time college athletes who helped to generate huge revenues for major universities, but since it is all part of the legal process, there will be appeals and injunctions and delays. Yeah, ain't the law grand? And finally, I confess. I'm guilty of finding this puppy adorable. Ah, oh, back and forth, back and forth, puppy.